Podcast. Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm William Haynes. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Kim Jong-un. By now, you've definitely heard of him, especially because his official title is the Supreme Leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. You gotta be real self-conscious if you call yourself that. I mean, you gotta be like this big in your downstairs place. That's the political equivalent of revving the engine on your car when you're driving by pretty women, looking for it. Last week, in a rarely blunt manner, he stated that North Koreans, quote, never enjoyed an abundant life. I bet to him he thinks this is something that only he knows, but dude, I don't know how to break it to you, but everybody knows. I'm not sure if he's trying to hide the fact that there's poverty everywhere in this country, or he really just doesn't know. I bet if you asked him to draw a map of Korea, it'd look like... So this is how North Korea is shaped. Here's my castle. It's really big and really nice. I have no idea what's over here and over here and over here. Here's why I keep my horses, though. I'm just gonna put this photo of the devil here because that's where South Korea is. I hate them. The North Korean Central Agency News reported on all of this Friday, and somehow they're not all in jail yet. They also reported that he also revealed a paper he wrote on promoting North Korea's livestock industry. Sounds like a plan to me. If it's anything like he treats his people, though, they should probably build a prison to send the animals to if they appear happy in any way whatsoever. Kim also said that he cannot sleep at night when he thinks about the people suffering in North Korea. Oh, That's nice. I bet the conversations before this were something along the lines of. So, um, there's like a bunch of poverty and stuff going on right now. Damn, really? What do you want to do about that? I'm gonna tell people what stops me from sleeping at night. Genius! Jokes aside, though, we can't completely criticize him because making efforts to develop the livestock and fishing industries in North Korea is smart because those changes definitely could have an impact on food shortages. Well, let's just for a second look at all these photos of Kim Jong-un looking at lavish food, though. Oh. Damn. Damn. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think change will finally come for North Korea? Who wore it best, Kim Jong-un, Kanye West, or me? I'm the supreme leader of the National Democratic Republic of the Peoples of Koreans. I like this curve you got going on here. Yeah, it's part of my cosplay. It's nice.